And welcome to another story time brought to you by ABC Read Inc. in which we are here to help nurture that love of reading in every child. Did you know that another read aloud fact is that children who are read to aloud on a consistent basis, there you will see their language emerge and their creativity expand just by one simple thing you can do at least 20 minutes a day. Read aloud to your child or any child for that matter. And that's what I'm here to do today. Once again, I have another cool book, an exciting story, and I hope that you all agree. Do you all see the cover of this book? Do you all see some familiar pictures on the book? You've guessed it, that's right. Pumpkins, right? It's that time of year that pumpkins are growing and many different parts of the United States. And the title of this story is called, How Many Seeds in a Pumpkin? And the author is Margaret McNamara, and the illustrator is G. Brian Karras. I want you all to take a look at these things. Do you all know what those are? Well, if you've guessed pumpkin seeds, you're correct. And actually, those are roasted pumpkin seeds because pumpkin seeds aren't brown inside of the pumpkin. They're usually like a kind of like a whitish kind of creamish color. So let's find out here. How many seeds in a pumpkin? And you all can do some guessing on your own as well about how many seeds do you think are in a pumpkin? Charlie liked school. He liked his teacher, Mr. Tiffin. He liked his best friend, Alex, but he did not like lining up to go into school. Mr. Tiffin's class lined up by size, tallest to smallest or smallest to tallest. Charlie was the smallest in the class every time. One chilly fall morning, Charlie was surprised to see three bright orange pumpkins on Mr. Tiffin's desk. One pumpkin was big, one was medium, and one was small. How many seeds in a pumpkin? Mr. Tiffin asked the class. Does anybody know? Nobody knew, but everybody had ideas. The biggest one has the most, said Robert. I bet it has one million seeds. Robert was the tallest boy in the class. The medium one has 500, Eleanor said. Now, Eleanor always sounded as if she knew exactly what she was talking about. The tiny one has 22, said Anna. Anna liked even numbers, better than odd ones. Now, Mr. Tiffin, he wrote down all the guesses on the blackboard. Charlie was very quiet. What are you thinking, Charlie? Asked Mr. Tiffin. I'm thinking that all the best guesses are taken, Charlie said. Why don't we open these pumpkins up and see, said Mr. Tiffin. The next day, the kids in Mr. Tiffin's class brought in spoons for scooping and bowls for holding and plastic bags for throwing out. They covered the floor with newspaper. They put on their smocks. It's a messy business counting pumpkin seeds, said Mr. Tiffin but the class was ready. After Mr. Tiffin cut a circle around each pumpkin stem, Kimmy, Alex, and Jake pulled off the caps. The children peered inside. This big one definitely has the most, said Robert. We'll see, said Mr. Tiffin. The pumpkin pulp was slimy and stringy, and the seeds were hard to get out. Yuck! When the children were finished, there were three empty pumpkins. 
three full bowls and 20 messy hands. Tomorrow we'll find out the answer to our question, said Mr. Tiffin. Tonight, your homework is to think about how we should count all the seeds. That afternoon, Mr. Tiffin dried the seeds. The next day, he put them in three paper bags marked big, medium, and small. Did you do your thinking homework? He asked the class. Yes, Alex said. I think we should just guess. I think we should count very, very carefully, said Tara. I think we should count by twos fives and tens, said Molly. Did you all guess out there? What do you all think? The class agreed that Molly had a good idea. Robert, Kimmy, and Jake all wanted to count the seeds in the big pumpkin by twos. Anna asked if she could join them. We could be the twos club, she said. They practiced counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, they said together. Jeremy, Tara, Eleanor, Molly, and Alex like counting by fives. We'll count the seeds in the medium pumpkin, said Molly. We could be the fives club. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, they cheered. I'll take the smallest pumpkin, said Charlie. I guess I'll be in the tens club. Good idea, said Mr. Tiffin. 10, 20, 30, Charlie began. Soon there were many groups of seeds in front of each pumpkin. Wow. See, said Robert, the tools club has the most. They had 170 pairs of seeds. The Fives Club. Whoa, we have lots too, said Eleanor. They had 63 groups of five seeds and one seed left over. The Tens Club. Charlie had exactly 35 groups of 10 seeds. Wow. Robert looked at the seeds in front of Charlie. You don't have a whole lot, he said. Let's get counting, said Mr. Tiffin. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, began Robert, Kimmy, Jake, and Anna. It took a long time to count 170 pairs of seeds. My brain hurts, said Anna. Now the biggest pumpkin had 340 seeds. Almost a million, said Jake. The fives were a little easier. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, chanted Jeremy, Tara, Eleanor, and Molly. There were 316 seeds in the medium pumpkin. Too bad for you, said Robert. It's not a contest, said Molly. The tens were the fastest of all, since there were just 35 groups. 10, 20, 30, 40, Charlie counted to himself. This can't be right, he said. Well, what can't be right, asked Mr. Tiffin. There are 350 seeds in my little pumpkin, said Charlie. That means it has the most of all. So it does, said Mr. Tiffin. Congratulations, Charlie, said Alex. The Tens Club wins. It's not a contest, said Robert. Mr. Tiffin told the class to gather around. You can never tell just how many seeds are in a pumpkin until you open it up, he said but there may be some clues. Take a good look at these. The class did. Charlie's is darker orange, said Anna, and it has more lines on the outside, 
said Robert. Yep, said Mr. Tiffin. For each line on the outside, there is a row of seeds on the inside. That's good to know, said Eleanor. And the longer the pumpkin grows, the more lines it gets, he added. Its skin gets darker too. So even though my pumpkin was the smallest, it was on the vine the longest, said Charlie. Exactly, agreed Mr. Tiffin. When it was time to go home, the class lined up by the door. Smallest to tallest this time, said Mr. Tiffin. Robert was at the back. Eleanor was in the middle and Charlie was at the front. Small things can happen, a lot going on. Small things can have a lot going on inside them, Charlie said to Mr. Tiffin. And then they left the classroom with Charlie leading the way. The end. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that story. And I hope you all learned some cool facts about pumpkins. So the next time you guys get a pumpkin, remember, cut it open and get the seeds out, roast them, sprinkle a little salt on them and count them. See how many seeds are in your pumpkin. Remember to read at least 20 minutes a day.